we're gonna be trying out the new Kosas 10 second eye gel watercolor eyeshadow and I did not know that this is a reformulated formula so never tried it before it's supposed to be really quick can't wait to test it out I got this in the shade heat which is a rose gold. I will be listing it down below in the description. If you want to check it out, just click on show more and it'll be right there. I really like Kosas. I've only tried one other thing from them. I know they are a clean makeup brand and I really like that. It's vegan, cruelty-free, shimmer-free, long-lasting, gluten-free, and this retails for $15. So here you go. So this is supposed to be really easy to use, which is something I'm looking for. They have, let's see, three, they have six shades available. We'll swatch it. I wanted this color because they have really like light shades. And yes, that looks beautiful on some people. But on me, like I needed to show up a little. I need some color because if not, I feel like I'm super washed out. Clean eyeshadow that glides on like gel watercolor to make your eyes instantly pop. Fuse with liquid skincare for your lids. So again, I love that. I feel like the brands that I've been recently reviewing are skincare mixed with makeup and I just love that. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see? So here's the color. I hope it looks nice. I really like this color that I picked, but we don't know how it's going to show up on the eyes. So jojoba oil, orange flower, water, no special skills, time or tools required. Color lasts without creasing and is packed with active skincare ingredients to smooth, brighten, safe or sensitive eyes. Swipe on one eye at a time. Wait 5 to 10 seconds and then tap 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 do not rub with your finger or any eyeshadow brush i don't have my eyes primed whatsoever i just have my full face of makeup without the eyes and before we get started if you're new welcome my name is jen jen's beauty style and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy go ahead and swatch this oh look how pretty i really like this color like this color like for an everyday swipe it on the eye what do you think about this color i'm looking for this like so i can put a day that i work that i don't have time to blend or anything so i'm just leaving it there counting a couple of seconds you don't have to wait the whole 10 seconds it does feel cool I don't want it to dry too much. I think it's been like six seconds. And I'm just going to take my finger and try to like blend it. Well, I'm not blending it. I'm really like tapping. Let's see how it looks. You can leave it like just there. But I like to blend it a little up. Seems to be blending really good. But it, I do feel it drying completely. Oh, this is so pretty. But you see, it's still really light. I am glad that I started blending it out before the 10 seconds because then it would be really dry. If you don't want to, like, tap it out, then wait the 10 seconds. But, I don't know. I will go and apply, like, a second coat to see how it looks if that's a good idea or not if you feel like you want to make it a little more bold let's do this eye feels really nice and you could apply it like in the whole however you like to apply your makeup so i just have it there maybe you can extend it more if you know that's what you're gonna want and let's try now with a brush maybe you don't want to use your fingers you don't want to get dirty there are some people like that so how about we start like tapping this and i know i'm not waiting the whole 10 seconds but i don't want this to dry completely and i'm not blending it all over just like on the outer corners so i don't have any like harsh lines and i want to see how this looks see by not blending it here it has more like color 
instead of me just blending. I know it says not to blend it out, but it's whatever works. You can see the color more on this side. Right? I do want to add a little more. I know this is supposed to be something quick, but we're just seeing what works. So when you do try, you'll be like, okay, I'm going to do it like this and I know it's going to be faster. So now I just build that up. Just, I am going to let it dry at least three seconds, four seconds. And just like work on the outer corners to blend that out a bit. Like that. You can do it with your finger again, like it said, whatever you feel more comfortable with. But I'm trying like not to touch this so the color can really pop. So now I know that that's my preference. Apply it, but don't blend this part out. Just like the outer, so I don't see any creases. So I'm just tapping it like that, and then to the outer. We'll have to see how it goes throughout the whole day, if it really doesn't like crease or anything, or it starts to break. I wanna let it dry completely because I wear eyeliner every day, and I wanna see if I put an eyeliner, how well is it gonna work like on top of this? Just messed up. Oh my God. Oops. Okay, just gonna do a small wing. And I don't see it transferring to my eyeliner. It's very important. So I know the eyeliner is not perfect, but I'm glad I was able like to cover that mistake. I believe once you get a hang of it, it will be 10 seconds for each eye, at least for me. I am gonna be using it for work. I think it's super easy. I do like the color. Now, this is the swatch again, so you can see. And I'm just gonna like try to rub it. Oh my god, that's crazy. Alright, so I hope that's how it performs on the eyes as well. I will give you an update if for any reason it did like crease or anything. I do have very oily eyelids and we'll see. I have the whole day to try this out. also have reviewed the Kosas powder which is a talc free powder if you would like to see. I'll try something else from this brand since it seems to be really good. I did use that powder completely so pretty happy. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!